is Steve Gearhart. For those of you who don't know me, uh, this is COVID-19 cooking. This is for those of us who are trapped inside of our apartments, homes, wherever, and we want to have different things to make other than bologna sandwiches. Um, as you've probably been watching the news, unfortunately, with the reopening of certain states, the way that things ran, there's now a spike in Corona case viruses. So, um, Unfortunately, a lot of people, a lot of states had to put their their openings on hold or dial it back some or whatever. So, you know, we're going to go back to a thought that we had early on when I was doing this, which is making an English pub in your own home so that you're not just drinking whiskey alone in a dark kitchen. So, uh, last time, uh, like I said, with English pubs, you, you want things like pickled eggs. So the last recipe that I had, and I have the link down below, it had to do with uh, malt uh, vinegar and different kind of flavoring into that and it just how it discolored the, the eggs and stuff like that. So we're gonna try a different pickled egg recipe, something a lot more simple. And I chose a recipe that I think is so simple that anybody can do it. If I can do it, you can certainly do it. So here is some dill pickled eggs uh, that I made about a week or so ago. And um, so here's the recipe. Like I said, the recipe is very, very simple. Um, it's a one-to-one -one ratio in terms of the liquids. So the basic recipe for the brine for the eggs is one cup of vinegar to one cup of water. And then you add two tablespoons of sugar and two tablespoons of salt. I highly recommend that you use kosher salt or sea salt. I prefer kosher salt. Um, that seems to do the best in making a brine, making a tasty brine, um, and to allow the chemical reactions that make it work. So, pretty simple, right? All you need is sugar, salt, uh, white vinegar, white distilled vinegar, apple cider maybe, but white still distilled vinegar if you can't find it, and um, water. So. This basic recipe is a very basic brine. You can change it if you want it to be more tart, to be more sweet. Obviously, you can change the recipe to reflect those things, but this is a very basic brine. So what you have to do, unfortunately, I didn't do a video actually cooking these things, so I'm gonna tell you how to do it. It's not that hard. So the first thing you do is you pour in a cup of the water, you pour in a cup of the vinegar, distilled white vinegar, and you pour in uh, the two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of kosher salt, and you bring it to a boil and you let the salt and the sugar dissolve in the liquid. Now, for the eggs, obviously, you're gonna to wanna to hard boil the eggs first. So you're gonna do that, and then you're gonna get a 32 ounce jar. Uh, 32, so that's about a quart. So it kinda of looks like that. And about nine to 10 eggs will fit in here depending upon how large the eggs are. So once you bring it to a boil, the brine to a boil, before you do that, what you wanna do is you wanna put in, obviously, if you can see it, like dill. Um, they actually put, tell you to put dill seed in here. This is actually what makes the very really strong dill flavor. Apparently the dill um, fronds kind of even it out, soften it a little bit. You can put a little bit more acid in there, a little bit more uh, tangy taste by putting onion slices in there. You don't need that many. And then, of course, you pack it all in there with the eggs. And then once the liquid is done, once the brine is done, as it's hot, you pour it into the bottle. And then you seal it up and you throw it into the fridge for about a week. Now, um, you can put it in there for two weeks. You can put it in there for longer if you want and not open it. Uh, obviously, the longer it stays in there, the stronger the flavors will be. Now, for this, um, there is no, for the ones that I made, I didn't have any direction on how many fronds to put in there. I just put in uh, about three or four sprigs of it. Um, I cut up um, maybe a quarter of an onion, shaved it, you know, sliced it, and put, that, and put those slices in. For the, for the dill seed, um, I put two teaspoons in here, two full teaspoons. So, you know, once you do it, you kind of want to shake it up a little bit so it kind of gets everywhere. And then you sit in there, and as you notice, the color kind of changes. Now with the malt vinegar ones, 
the eggs got really, really dark. They got really dark in there. These not so much. This isn't about discoloration. This, this, this kind of thing doesn't discolor. It just permeates the entire egg with the dill flavor and the vinegar flavor. So we're going to try these out now. Now when you pull the egg out, obviously it's hard boiled, but you're going to notice right away that the texture is a little bit different. It's not as soft. Now hard boiled eggs obviously are hard boiled, so they're not soft, but they are a little bit, they can have a little bit more give before they go into the pickling. Now that's been in there for about a little over a week or so, you can tell it's not really that discolored at all, um, but there is definitely some resistance. So that makes it, that means that the egg white might be a little bit chewy, which is to be expected. So here we go. Mm. So the first thing that you get is definitely the vinegar. Okay, that comes right out. That vinegar is is right there, but not in a bad way. It's actually a little bit on the sweet side. So if you like it sweet, do the brine as I as I told you how to do it. Maybe add a little bit more sugar if you don't if you want to offset the vinegar taste. And then the dill is a very soft flavor. It's almost not there at first. At first you're gonna be like, oh, it's just vinegar. Give it a moment, and then the dill flavor will come in. And um, it's pretty tasty. This is I'm liking this. I, I really like this. I, I think I might even like this. I'm gonna, I was going to say I'm going to like this better than the malt vinegar eggs I made, but I don't know. But still, this is pretty darn good. So there you have it. Another pickled egg recipe to add to your um, pretend English pub bar now that you're back into the apartment because things aren't reopening as quickly as they were going to be. Maybe throw on some soccer, maybe throw on some BBC shows or something like that, watch Luther. That's a pretty good uh, British crime drama. Um, but yeah, it's tasty stuff. It takes a little bit of time, but um, it's worth it. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.